Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Studio Sessions. I'm your host, Kim Kim. We're here with Court Vision TV and my boy Big Fat. What's going down, man? What's going down? What's going down with you? Uh, you know me, man. I always working. Fatty's food truck on the way. You are always working. If it's uh, not being a part-time comedian on Facebook oh, or in the lab writing, yeah, man. like you're, you're so busy. People always say I'm a part-time comedian. I don't even be telling jokes though. I just tell the truth. You are a part-time comedian. It's you're just, hilarious. listen, if it's true, it's true. People only laugh because it's funny. That's just what it is. So I'm not a comedian, but you can't pay me for jokes. Okay, we're gonna have to test that out. We're gonna have to test that out. So, Fatty's Food Truck, this is Chill. your next project on the way. Yeah. Tell me about it. Well, Fatty's Food Truck is basically, you know, I'm a cooker, man. You know, for the people who don't know, I, I believe in promoting the culture of mm -hmm. lyricism. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So, it's all about giving it the lyricism, but I definitely wanted to touch on the different sounds and feels of the city. You know what I'm saying? For this particular album most like you know more than the south side more than anything you know what i'm saying so we took a little trip to mo city and we got the feel from mo city and we went to you know the west and we got the feel from there we went to third war went to south Park, and we just you know you it, every hood in 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 houston has a certain feel you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. like you know, you go to South Park, that might be, you know, a little more rougher, but a little more player. You go to the West, it's a little more sophisticated. You know, in most city, in the way the West is, the niggas are wild, on. <laughs> Please don't go out there bullshit. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, man, you know, it's, it's just gathering the different, you know what I'm saying, the different fields of, of the city, but staying true to the lyricism of it. So, you know, you're going to enjoy the sounds of H-Town, but, you know, we're going to have a lot of deep concepts and personals and... You know, things like that. It's a Fats album. Right. So, say, like, we yeah. get in the food truck with Fats going around Houston and you're Yeah, man, we just, we just cooking all around the city, man. That's pretty much what it is. You know what I'm saying? We're going to yeah. eat everywhere. We're going to cook everywhere. That's just what it is. All right, so you know I have to ask you, what's your favorite place to eat? Favorite place? Oh, that's a hard one. I'm, I got to go with South Park, man. Timmy Chan's for the wings and rice. You are so only, old look, school. Hold up, like, hold up. The MLK one. That's the up. only place no. that you have to go and pay cash. Facts. <laughs> like you, still you go have up to there pay with cash. a card, and we gonna know you foreign. That's number one. <laughs> number two, any Timmy Chan that's not on MLK is not acceptable. Cullen is good. Only when the one on MLK is packed. I don't care where you from or what you say. All of the other shit is generic. That's great value, Timmy Chan. Don't eat that shit. Okay, so even though it's, it's the original. <laughs> All of them say the original. Somebody lying, bro. That's what I'm saying. See, I be telling the truth. <laughs> but, it funny, but, no, it, it but it is funny. But it be the it truth. Funny, you know what I'm saying? Funny. Them shits is not original. All right, so Timmy if, Chan. If it ain't on the K. <laughs> Timmy Chan's fried I, chicken and rice. Goddamn right. Yeah, yeah, that's the favorite. You know, I got to ride with South Park, man. It ain't, you know. But if we talking, you know, fancy places. <laughs> Frenchies. Fuck y'all. Y'all thought Ooh. I was gonna say something. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Real upscale. Yeah, man. Southside all the way, man. You, yeah, man. He you got the, money. a pepper too? Yeah. Oh yeah, you big man. You, you, you big eating money. with fans? Get you two biscuits. Oh. They know me. They know me in there. They know me in there. Get you two biscuits. Now nah, I'm fucking around, man. Nah, I'm, you know. I eat a lot of places, man. I'm overweight. That's what we do. You're so silly, Fat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's what we do. Yeah, we No, but you have been, I would say, a staple in mm -hmm. the underground. Nice word usage. Oh, you like that? You like that verb? Indubitably. There? Yes. Staple. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Yes, you have been yeah. a staple um, in the underground community in Houston. I have seen you branch off into other areas as well. What would you say um, is the thing that keeps Houston going with music? Because well, we are very influential yeah, it's in a, sound. Yeah, it's a major city. I mean, we got our own culture here. So, of course, people come, you know, celebrities come from out of town to come part of here for a reason. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Is you know, the best looking women are here. You know, I don't want to just put y'all out there on some, you, you know, know looks. But you see Kim Kim. <laughs> you know, with it. So, yeah, the best looking women are here. The, good, the food is good here. The vibe is right here. You know, people are used to money out here. So, it's not like on some, you know. Yeah crazy celeb shit like it is in Hollywood or some shit, you know what I'm saying? But it's just, it's a great vibe in the city, so the music will always create from vibes. That's what music is, you know what I'm saying? So the young cats got their own vibe, that's the way that they do business, and the cats along my age or my rim, we do business another way, and so yeah. on and so forth, you know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. So here are hearing artists uh, such as like D'Lo in um, our previous episode, he dropped your name a couple of times, even in Word. his freestyle. And he was like, "Hey, tell Big Fast to come pick it up." So you know, we had to call you so you can come pick it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but to hear artists like that name drop and say, "Hey, this is somebody you need to look out for. You need to pay attention. Press play." Like, how does that make you feel? 
I think that's dope. It's it's dope for people in his position to even, you know, mention me, period. You feel me? But for them to respect me, you know what I'm saying, him and a couple other cats who I feel like, you know, they're just in a, another realm than, than I am yet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I'm still working to get there. So, you know what I'm saying? For those cats to acknowledge me as a, you know, top lyricist or a top guy that they want to hear rap, I mean, that's a, you know, respect from your peers is why we do this. You know what I'm saying? You know, above other things, money and stuff like that. But, you know, like, yeah, you know, you want to get respect from the people that you respect. You yeah. know what I'm saying? The d -Lo is definitely a cat that I respect. So, for him to even mention me is dope in any fashion. You feel me? So, Shout out to DeLorean, man. Small goals, eh? So, speaking of small goals, do you feel any pressure to make this the next project bigger than your last one? I always feel that pressure. That's, that's you know, if you don't pressure yourself to get better, why would you? You know what I'm saying? That's just the way any perfectionist does business. So, my goal is to always beat myself. I don't really see other people in my world. In, in my world, in hip-hop, I only exist. You know what I'm saying? That's going to sound real, you know, Selfish and egotistical of me, but it's it's just the way I think. You feel me? Yeah. I, so the only person that I can outdo in that scenario is myself. That's right. That's right. You know what I mean? That's my only competition. So when can we expect Fatty's food truck? I don't want to put a false date on it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's what most niggas do. Yeah. They give a date and then they got to come back and say, "Hey man, my mama ate my homework." You know what I'm saying? All of that old fly shit. So I'm gonna say. December. I'm going to try to get it out by the end of this year for sure. All right. Just because I know people are waiting on the memoirs. It was such a success that people want to hear the follow-up. So I definitely want to get it out so y'all can hear that I have changed the style up just a bit. But the rap are still, still supreme. Okay. Supreme. All right. So you so, changed it up a little bit. Well. We ain't got fly on them. Yeah, well, I always change it up. You know what I mean? I don't feel like. I feel like every album should sound different. I don't feel like you're, you know, if I did something like Memoirs, I can't come out with another Memoirs. Right. Even if it's Memoirs Part 2. You right. see what I'm saying? Like, shit gotta sound different. I gotta give you another experience. Otherwise, why would you listen? Okay. Well, give us two reasons to listen to Fatty's Food Truck. First of all, it's Fats. Oh, sorry. I mean, you know, that's that's actually could be yeah. Well, I'm saying is no. I'm saying it's fast. Like it's it's me oh, rapping. I was like, I was but no, no, it's Fatty's food truck. You know, My shout favorite. out to Kim Kim, produced by Pub Tunes. You know okay. what I'm saying? But uh, I think that you should definitely check it out because, like I said, I'm I'm I'm, I'm about uplifting the culture, but I'm also about jamming too. So. At the end of the day, we're going to jam. It's something you can ride to. It's something you can sit back and, you know, smoke one to or whatever you're going to do. But it's also one that if you really want to just take a second and vibe out on some deep shit, listen to the words, and it'll take you to a place that, you know, most rappers won't take you. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to sound better than nobody like that, but it's just yeah. I take a different route. You're just different. I'm a different nigga. Just you know what different. I mean? Yeah. I did my fries and ranch. I feel that. I feel that. Well, let's get into this freestyle since you got your way of doing your own thing. Definitely. We're going to see how you hop in the booth and do your thing. Let's do it. All right. That's never a challenge. Never a challenge, clearly. Let's get into this. Man. Man. This is Big Fats. Fatty's food truck is on the way, man. Fuck with me. Google me. You feel me? Grind pays in the building. D-Boy, what up? P.U.D. Entertainment and all that. I'm here, man. Core Vision TV. Go have a little fun. Yo, first off, my nigga, knowledge is wealth. Really wanna survive, you never lie to yourself. You keep it real when it get real, that's how you gonna respect. Be a man of your word, make sure promises kept. Seem like death the only honor that's left. Still, my word will always live, I'm a god in the flesh. See, I be going through hell, y'all be calling me blessed. I be getting it now, they be calling me next. Call me Fat Jesus, yeah. The man, the myth, and the legend, God's flow. Swear I be stands I did was a blessing. I was back to church, hear my word, let the pastor word. And when I rapture, it's the master coming back to earth. Revelations, it's a prophecy in every statement. I'm selling greatness, it's a prophecy in every statement. This the level you can only reach through meditation. Schizophrenic, I probably wrote this on medication. Yeah, bitches sick, every line read. Just to pass the surface, gotta search for the fine print. 
As far as Houston, I see beef when it don't have to be. I already proved that it's enough for the staff to eat. Besides, let's be wise, though none of y'all wanna rap with me. That's fighting with the mind and the muscle. Shit is atrophy. I made my little pennies the harder way, like I'm Anthony. Long as my philosophy blessing in this philanthropy. Yeah, I make this ether straight out the freezer. The stone that the building refuse, I get Beniza. Shout out to my nigga Nika. We don't follow, we lead us. And shit and navigation. I just serve them like Nifas, yeah. My nigga, I ain't even started yet That was simple, Jack I ain't even went full retarded yet I got inner pain I just use this way as catharsis it's Shit that make you go from lacking confidence To narcissist But part in it Stay be losing life behind the bars and shit These the sentences with premises That show the cons and shit How the government lock us up Knowing they sponsored it How's the ones that judge us The ones that's lacking the honor Did what I had to do When I pitched that crack on the corner The way I whip them babies Gonna get them snatched from their mama They get dispatched to the trap now, I ain't about to take one. Had to hide one in the baby. It's like Drake's son, say something. And I won't let them make it. Epiphanies, I see them differently. Just let him paint it. Snapping pictures with these strangers like I'm damn near famous. Hidden scriptures in my statements of what they hear sacred. Yeah. See, you gotta live it to get it. Gotta know it to love it. Gotta be in it to win it. I just be in position. I'm about action and business. You know the law when you visit. We either click it or ticket. You either pay it or take it. Death is only for living. Right and wrong is perspective. Life is about decisions. Oh. See, that's when chances turn to circumstances. I know some niggas that'll bust if you put work in transit. Tonight, though, we gon' toast to living right, ho. The Hennessy is ice cold and privileged like white folks. The ego on Kanye. The mood is on Sade. Been meditating all day. Combos with y'all way. I got deeper thoughts. My people pray, but still my people lost. We know the wages of sin, but how much evil costs grind pays. I just work them stones like I'm Thanos. When I'm snapping ropes with these rappers, I still like Wago. You keep up with the Jones. I be doing my thing though. I was voting for Tonya. I don't know about Beto, nigga. It's big facts, man. Fuck with me, eh? Hey, that was just another hot episode of Studio Sessions. My boy, Big Fats, he Yo. literally ate the mic. Literally. Did I? You did. Hey, like man. Two. Google me. It was, that was, that's a little, it was like five. Y'all stay tuned for the extended version. Yeah, I'm gonna have it. Google me. Big Fats, B I G G F A T T S. I'm worth the Google, man. I'll let you boy. Yes. Eh? We out.